Hello, Taurus. How are you doing, big baby? Big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. I hope you're doing super fantabulous. If you're new to my channel, where have you been? We've been waiting for you, looking for you, hoping that you like it here, all right? If you like tarot, you like to know what's happening, you like to have a good time, this is the place to be, baby. Hit that like, that share, subscribe. Better yet, come hang out with me on Instagram. We're going live Tuesdays and Wednesdays, 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. Get your read on, baby, 11-11 or 22-22, depending on how you want to do the do. All right? Now, with that being said, the way these readings are going to go, we're going to go into a general read, go into general singles, singles, general singles, general singles, couples, and all signs. So, what do we have going on upstairs on October 2nd? We had that new moon solar eclipse in Libra, and we were grieving about something. We are really going through the gigs in our feelers. And we're probably starting a new segment of life, okay? Now, on the 9th, Jupiter retrograde, 21 degrees in Heminis, all right? And on the 11th, Pluto says, baby, I'm going direct, 29 degrees cap. All right, 29 degrees is a whole lot of degrees of Capricorn. That's all I'm going to say. And it's going to make some intense changes and major transformations. Get the popcorn ready, guys, because all things are coming to the forefront. On the 13th, Mercury enters into Scorpio. And on the 17th, we have the full moon in Aries, 24 degrees, and Venus entering Sag. That full moon is closing a cycle for you. Um, whatever it is you've been grieving, whatever it feels like you've had to let go, it's coming to an end, all right? And on the 22nd, call of that sexy Scorpio, it is time, baby. It's time for Scorpio season. It's time to have a good time. Now, astrologically speaking, your astro card is that of Aquarius. Ow, ow. You could be dealing with Aquarius. You could have heavy Aquarius in your chart. This could also just be that the 11th house is going to be very important for you. The 11th house actually came out for Capricorn also. So if you are dealing with the Capricorn, have a lot of Capricorn in your chart, go check that read out too. Now, the 11th house deals with friendships, social media, um, online business, joining new groups, things of that nature. And I do see you joining some new groups. Now, are you ready? Your animal energy is that of the parrots. And whenever the parrot shows up, this is very strong soulmate energy, okay? I do feel like you're going to be meeting a lot of people. You're going to be growing. You're going to be developing, maybe being even in meetings. And just because I say soulmate doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be the love of your life. This could be your best friend. This could be your business partner. But you are meeting people who are wanting to elevate you to the next level, all right? So it says, listen intently to understand, now, your message for love is no other than the soulmates card. So I'm telling you, this is like double confirmation. Soulmates does not always have to be romance. Yes, we're listening for love, but I love my friends. I love my family. I love the strangers that I meet on the, in the world that brighten my day. There is something about the energy of connection. And friendship is a connection also. The 11th house really is trying to come through. Maybe your friends are going to introduce you to your new boo. But definitely a soulmate connection coming in for you. Now, when it comes to love, you have the Eight of Roses. The Eighth House could be very important, ruled by Scorpio. There could be a lot of transformation. But you are really meeting new people. You're meeting people who have the same likes, desires, and wants as you. And you're going forward. Now, we're also dealing with meeting new people because we have been dealing with some egotistical jerks, okay? The Fourth House, possibly, around the house. Now, these people cannot see the error of their ways. They just feel like you're just being ridiculous. Things aren't moving the way they want it to move. And everything is always your fault, okay? I'm just going to be honest. Everything is always your fault. And you're leaving that behind, and you're moving in a new direction, okay? Very interesting energy. The first, the fourth, the fifth, the eighth, the eleventh. All right? Very important days for you. Let's get into your general reading. A Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. And Venus, because we're listening for love. Love spell. All right, let's see what comes out next to it. All right, we have a liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay, the boy's a liar. And we have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Overall, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. So we definitely have someone who has put a little love spell on us, but we need to be careful because someone is being sneaky. I don't remember what sign it was. I think it was 
Aries or Sag? I said, don't eat the spaghetti. I don't remember. Maybe it was a water sign. I don't know. Anyways, I've been doing too many readings. Let's see what Love Spell has for you. Backstabber. I want you to be very careful about having rose-colored glasses on, okay? Heartbreak, separation, and loss. Let's see what the liar liar has for you. We're healing from that. We're healing from a backstabbing. And the earth sign says, that's you. We're going to keep our hope alive. We're going to believe in love. And what does this fire sign have for us? They want to snuggle us through it. They want to love on us. They want to, they're interested in you. They want to date you. Maybe you've gone through a really hard time with someone who has a little bit of um, selfish uh, intentions, a big ego, a lot of gaslighting, and you're really trying to get over that. And you're moving forward. And you feel like that person who backstabbed you had a little bit of a love spell over you. And you're like, look, I've got to heal from this lying energy. I got to move forward. I got to, I, I got to take care. I got to put myself first, Lucius. Okay. I got to put myself first. I was looking for another set of cards, but I'll just go with these. All right. Let's see what we got going on here for you, love bug. Let's see here. Generally speaking, we have the seven of swords. Yes. Yeah, some of us really got found some, we found some boo-boo out. Okay. And you know, <sighs> I'm going to say it, Taurus. Uh, maybe all the signs were there. Maybe maybe you're kicking yourself in the, the booty because you should have noticed it. But Taurus, the truth has come out. You're moving forward. And that's the important part. Okay. What else? How are we feeling? The three of cups. We're going to take our ass out. We're going to have a good time, baby. We're going to have a good time. And then here it comes back creeping in. Now, in this deck, all the, like, the devil, the ten of swords, and the seven of swords, they're all hairless cats. So, I want to say something is being exposed. You could have been involved in a third-party situation. Maybe that was not their intentions. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. It was not cool, okay? Well, I'm not going to defend a person who did something shady. You found something out. There, it, the cat is out the bag, as they say. And exposed. Something is being exposed. So the wine ain't whining with the five of cups. And we're not feeling this situation anymore. And I still feel like that person is watching you. And that person wants to know what you're up to. And you're saying, picture me rolling, okay? I'm good, I'm healed, I'm moving forward, I'm not dealing with this anymore. My money's better, my aura's better, my hair looks fabulous, I'm making the dollar dollar bills that I want to make, and I don't need this backstabbing energy anymore. Queen of Pentacles, you are in your power, okay? You are in your power, you look good. Don't let that energy come back. What is this Seven of Swords about? The two of cups. Yeah, you thought y'all was the two of cuppers and there was a third cup up in that mix. Okay? Some of y'all are getting over a marriage or a diver diverse, if I could talk, and we're healing from the devil. Definitely healing from that energy and that manipulation with the magician. And we are not investing in the five of cups anymore. We're not we're not investing in um, oceanfront property in Arizona. Okay? No more. We've learned our lesson. And um, some of y'all could have children with this individual and they're using the children. And I want to say that this person might be coming back during Christmas, okay? And you're like, look, I'm done. I'm not only done, I'm finished, I'm over it, and I'm moving on. And there is nothing this individual can do to come back and get in your good graces. So, the lies have been exposed. Everything has come to the forefront, and you're moving on to the next level. Congratulations. Okay. Let's just do this, okay? If that loser, <laughs> that loser could talk, or that individual who did not, um, who was not honest, what are they going through? What are they going through? What is their deal? What, what's going on in their mind, Okay. They wish they could make their wrongs right. I want to say for some of y'all who went through a divorce with this individual, they regret the divorce because they thought the grass was greener on the other side. And I want to say like their hair's falling out. <laughs> they don't look as good as they used to. And ain't nobody cooking for them anymore, baby. Okay, they feel very unworthy of you right now. 
and they're trying to run from it. They're trying to run from it and like put their seed in anything they can find. Chaser. Okay, they want they want to come back. But you like bye. <laughs> I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. Every time my phone rings, I'm hoping that it's you, and I hate seeing you with anybody. I keep hoping to bump into you everywhere I go. Um, and you're done. And we're finished. And you don't care. Taurus, they didn't know your cutoff game was so cutoffery, okay? Like, I always tell people I have a really good cutoff game, and if you ever get to that cutoff point, it's not good for you. There's no coming back. <laughs> like, I'm done. All right, let's go into our singles. What do we have here? Mercury retrograde. So, electronic issues, communication, um, issues with everything. And this could also be like something keeps resurfacing for you, all right? There they are, the narcissist. This also goes back to that views of the ego energy. Look, see how they're, in the, they're both in the mirror? Tell because you the problem. <laughs> Taurus, you the problem, not them. Oh, my. And Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I told you they was watching Spy. Okay, they're watching your social media. They're, they're looking things up. Is Taurus really over me? Could they really be a damn straight? <laughs> you're healing. You're healing from this retrograde. You're healing from the, I want to call it the boomerang effect. Like they go and they let you be and then they see you happy. They're like, oh, oh, wait, wait, Taurus, I'm back. No. They're going to come back love bombing. But there's no second chance, especially if it's a water sign. We're done. We're finished. And they are very addicted. They're codependent with you. They love watching your stories, your Instagram. Could have been a third party as a reason. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. I don't like them. <laughs> Yuck. We are moving on from that, definitely. But this energy is definitely there, Taurus. They are addicted to you. Okay. All right, here you are. You are hoping for love. You're moving forward. I feel like some of y'all are like, I'm only talking to people I see myself in a long-term connection with, right? Crowning your read is the Queen of Swords. I'm telling you, your cutoff game, baby, is on damn dirty points, okay? You can get in where you fit in, but you ain't getting any quarters up in this slot change, okay? We're not letting you come in here. It's done. You're protecting your energy. You're moving forward. There could be some important dates for you, like May 8th could be important. May 21st, 821. 21 is important, okay? And the overall energy for you is you're just moving on to new things. You want something better. You want something more. You're healing. You're very strong on those boundaries, okay? Can't nobody break you down, all right? What is this Hierophant about? Hierophant wants you to know, look, we can't even talk anymore. We don't need to make broken promises, okay? You should buy with that. We don't need that. Nine of Wands, no sir. You can't pass go. You cannot collect $200. You got some issues. Nope, you're not trying to hear it. Eight of Cups, we're not, we're not entertaining it. I don't care what you got to bring to the table, okay? You're like done. Three of Wands, you want something new and exciting? That's the second time the Three of Wands comes out. You're, you're done. You're tired of the runner, the chaser. You're done. Queen of Swords, give us clues. High Priestess, trusting your intuition, getting the keys to the Bima, okay, or something better. Nine of Swords, nope, you're done. Nine of Swords, nope. There's someone moved out too. And to the Two of Cups. So your trust, 2292 could mean something to you. Your queen of swords game, like, she's like, look, I'm going to trust my intuition. There's a lot of back and forth with you. I'm looking for a connection. I'm not looking for, for betrayal. Page of Pentacles. What do you have for us? The six of Pentacles. You can't come back. I changed the locks. I'm healing. The star. You just can't come back. And in this world, in this world, she is fully protected. Ace of Swords, you're going for something new. And your cutoff game, if I, if I could show that, your cutoff game cannot be messed with. 
There's three nines in your read, 999. Nine, nine. That's very significant to the relationship is really over. This person could be very addicted to love, very addicted to like always needed to be at the thrill of the chase. Um, and they're, you're not giving them a second chance this time. It is completely over. You've moved on. You're strong. You have overcome this. You're not going back. You're not, you're not playing this game. We're not playing this game anymore. We're going for something new. 2019 could have been very important. I don't know. This is so weird. I never get like years. And this is the second read that that's happened. There's this vibe about you just like completely being done with the situation and you're finished. Like it doesn't matter what sign they were. It doesn't matter. This was their behavior. They got you completely addicted to them as far as like the attention and they cut off the attention. They made you beg for their attention. There was always great makeup sex. You guys were always like you were always letting them come back, always letting them come back. They took what they wanted and they left, took what they wanted and they left. And this time they can't come back. And this is new for them. So that person is gone. We're not going to waste any more of our read on them. We are going to look to see clues on um, the right person for you. Okay. How do they look? Who is the right person for our beautiful Taurus? What do we need to know? The mountain, a large forehead, grain, hair, Aries energy. Um, the letter, this person is medium build. What number is that? 27. Slim, Gemini energy. Very beautiful skin, very beautiful birthmarks on the face, Libra energy. Or is that Pisces? Pisces. Beautiful eyes. There's something about their eyes. They just have like gorgeous eyes, okay? And then we have the key. And the key is that of slim, very strong, medium build, another Taurus possibly. And then we have Pisces energy. This person is Mediterranean looking, very olive skin. And um, colored eyes or light colored eyes, okay? There's something about their eyes. Another message that's very random as I'm looking at this is there was some blocked communication this time, but it's going to spread and it's going to bring key information. They also have a lot of financial ties for you, like good information to help you move forward financially. Where are my other cards? Where did they go? I hate when I can't find something. They're probably like right in front of me. Okay, I'm going to have to pause the video because the cards that I want are not able to be found. All right, give me a second. Well, as soon as I stopped it, they were like sitting right in front of me. <laughs> ah, I hate when I do that. So the mountain wants you to know, very interesting hair. They could have a lot of highlights. Very, very interesting hair. Uh, they get very nervous around you. They want to ask you out for a drink. It'll be a nighttime date. And like I said, they even have interesting hair. Like you guys like have like a connection with the hair thing and very foreign from you. They could be a different culture, okay? So this person is a good fit for you. You guys are gonna have fun. Be prepared for the narcissistic spy to be watching, okay? You're gonna give them an eyeful. It's okay. It's okay. They could have, they could have had you, but they made really bad choices, all right? Let's go into, oh, initials. Initials for this new person. We have S, O, T, E, and T. So, totes. <laughs> I, I would say there could be two T's in their name. You also got um, toes. They could have a foot fetish, okay? But initials S, O, T, T, and E, okay? Those could be in their name. Let's go to our beautiful couples. Beautiful couples, what do they need to know? Pregnancy, oh, okay, distance, we feel far apart. And someone is questioning something, okay? I have heartburn, sorry. And pets, there's something about pets. Maybe we're getting a new pet, maybe um, we're fighting over pets. I don't know your life. <laughs> Hopefully we're getting a new pet, okay? So what about this pregnancy? 
Paradise. Everything's going well. We're excited. We're in the honeymoon phase. Um, we really miss the passion. And there's a lot of love, but sexually we're trying to figure things out. Somebody's really missing an old pet, okay? Or they're really missing the pets. Really, I don't know. I got nothing. Let's see what your person is thinking. Oh my God, I'm so sleepy. Your person feels in their head with the Ten of Swords. Communication could be a little foggy right now. There's a major decision about changing the locks, moving on, moving forward. Maybe giving you the keys, all right? They see you as the empress. Some of y'all are pregnant, okay? Some of y'all are pregnant. Congratulations. They want to make things right. They want to be fair. And the king of wands is coming in between you guys, which leaves somebody very sad, okay? And the page of pentacles is on top. So some of y'all are expecting a baby. Congratulations. Or expecting a new pet. That's exciting. But we're a little bit disappointed, so... What is this Ten of Swords about? We have the Fool. So we feel like may maybe our partner feels like it's time to start over. It's time to move forward. We got to do better. I just kind of feel like your partner like keeps sticking their foot in their mouth. Like, damn, dude, what's wrong with you? Yeah, they can't get they can't get the words right. Like, they just can't say the right thing. They're never saying the right thing. Ten of Swords with the Ten of Swords. How huh? the hell did this person say? Like, did you change the locks? Like, damn, Taurus. And yeah, the two of pentacles, they want to make it right. They want to move forward. They're like, how do we get there? How can I get you to be back into me with the eight of cups? Like what eight of pentacles? How do we get there again? Like, and meanwhile, you just sitting pretty with your little ducky. Okay. You're like, okay, I'm good. And there's some Tauruses that kick somebody out their house. Over 21. All right. April 21st could be very important also for you. So Justice wants you to know the hangman. We he, They want to make things right. They want to make it right this time. There's the high priestess. They want to make it right. They don't know how. These fell out like this. The king of wands is saying two of wands with the seven of swords. Okay, and I want you to look at this king of wands. So this king of wands is like, look, we've talked about it before and then we get right back and it's the same thing over and over again, which leaves someone feeling really sad with the five of cups to the ten of cups. So I feel like the conversation may be like, look. We've been together for a while. And if you don't see this moving in the same direction that I do, I think we might have to let this go. The Page of Pentacles says, I want the Ten of Pentacles. So, like, either you're going to invest or you can just go. Like, we don't have time for this back and forth. Five of Swords. Someone just feels very betrayed and they want another chance with the Ace of Pentacles. So, for some of y'all Tauruses, this person might just say, hey, let's get married. I just want to keep you, right? And for others, I feel like Taurus, you're telling them, look, if you don't want to get married, you don't want to do this, you know, we're already having a baby, we're doing all these things, like if you don't want to do this, then we need to be very clear on how we're going to move forward. And this person also feels like you're not that into them. You're not that into them. This is a very interesting time for you guys. Like, for some, y'all are so excited about having the baby. Some of y'all could be living at a distance from each other. And you need more of a connection. You don't know why this is happening. For others, y'all are going to just start back again. And you're going to get back into it. And it's going to be okay. And for others, it's like we need to make a decision how we're moving forward. What do you want? Because Taurus didn't come to play. What is clues for Taurus this month? What is something they did not see coming? What will help them through this situation? There is the snake. So there's something trying to get in the way, trying to block an overbearing situation, overbearing mother-in-law, overbearing situation. Something new is coming, maybe even a visitor, a male visitor. That's going to shine light on the situation. 
So for some of y'all, I say July 21st could be very important. I don't know. I don't think I don't know who told you that. Who told you that? Told that too. So there's a situation of something being brought to the forefront. Some of y'all are having to tell somebody you're pregnant. Um, and that might be difficult or y'all could have differences on how you want to raise a child. But there's definitely that there. But there is definitely something coming in to shed light. There's also a blocked individual that causes overbearing issues in the relationship. And we got to get away from that. Okay. And I do see that there's a new person coming in with information. Take that trip. Visit the family. Find your balance. Be strong on this trip. Okay, be strong. Don't let anyone tell you what, what you need to do. I do believe that you have like a lot of like positive energy around you. Keep Stay in your prayer world and watch the tone. Watch your tone. Your money's going to be okay. Everything is going to be fine. I do see a trip coming in. I also think February is going to be important. And the number 222. Two, two. <sighs> All right. I don't know. Our signs. What's going on? I say that because even Cap got a rough read. Just feel like a lot, a lot of things are changing. I really want you to pay attention to what, um, where Pluto is in your in your chart, and like what sign it's in, and what's going on there. Okay, because there's just like a lot of like you're not you're not dealing with that bullshit anymore. Like you're just over it. Okay, let's go into all signs. Remember, take the parts that fit and leave the others for someone else. Important days are the 1st, the 4th, the 5th, the 8th, the 11th, and the 21st. Numbers 222 two, two, and 999. Nine, nine. Remember, this was a soulmate connection. Here we are. We are praying because we're out of love. We're out of patience. And we are just like I'm not feeling this situation. What do you got going on, Taurus? Like, damn. I'm going to get mean comments. I'm going to get mean emails that say things like, you're such a negative reader. You did it done. I'm going to be like, okay. <laughs> this wasn't for you then. Okay. Not for you. The eight. All right. Let's see. Here you are. As the queen of swords, you are being very strong with your boundaries. You're speaking your mind. And Aries is like, I'm going to come get you, girl. I like you. I like this vibe. Solution is I'm going to invest in you. I want the best. We got this going on. The 18th could be important. Here you are ready to drop the burdens. You've got um, the Pazuzu card. And uh, Taurus, the other Taurus is a little cried out over the situation. Doesn't feel like things are moving in the right direction. 20th could be important. You are at the 10 of cups trying to, you're just not feeling fulfilled. Gemini says, let's get married. Let's, let's build a house on rock and roll and let's take our time. I, I brought you something. Can I come over? And you're like, oh, not you again. The eighth. Here you are. You're not feeling fulfilled. You're the princess of wands reverse. You feel like there's no passion. Ca cancer doesn't feel like y'all are even friends anymore. Like y'all aren't getting along with the 10 of pentacles. And there could have been a betrayal. The 12th could be important. You feel defeated. I also feel like you're tired of telling somebody something. And Leo's like, I don't care. <laughs> and they do care. <laughs> Anyways, there are there's a lot of emotions tied into this situation. Both y'all acting like y'all don't care and y'all do. All right? The 9th could be important. Here you are. You're healing. You're moving forward. Virgo is trying to get out of their head. And praying to their spirit guide. What is this? Uh, okay. The hammer fell out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull another one. And the butterfly. So for you, this is like, I'm tired of working on this relationship. And Virgo is like, I'm trying to release the past. So you guys are trying to heal and move forward. And uh, we'll see what happens, okay? We'll see. Keep me posted. 19th is important. Here you are as the queen of wands. You are I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what I mean? Ew. Ew. You like all that, okay? 
And Libra said, come and get your love. Oh my God, y'all are in love. But y'all moving a little too fast. Y'all too passionate about this situation. You need some temperance, boo. You need some temperance. The seventh could be important. I also want to say, like, um, be a little bit careful with Libra. This is just what, just my opinion, okay, Taurus? Because Libra's coming in hot. And they're coming in for the bedroom kill. And they're like, once you get a taste of this ill na na, baby, you ain't going nowhere. Taurus, you won't. Anyways, here you go. Are you ready to talk about it? Be about it. And Scorpio is like, I'm in love. Can I offer you something? This is love made in heaven. Finally, some good. You and a Scorpio got something going on. The 10th could be important. You ready to talk about it? Be about it? Be all up in it with the eight of wands? And Sagittarius said, bring your ass over here. Bring it. I want to talk, baby. I want to... I want to pick and poke at you. And you know what I mean. The 10th could be important. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to be about it. And Capricorn is remembering the past. And nobody's moving. 13th could be important. You are tired. You are ready to put yourself back out on the streets. Okay. And Aquarius is bored. Four of Pentacles. Where nobody's giving in this situation, nobody likes each other, the fourth could be important. You are, you feel like you're being manipulated or you're manipulating somebody. Ah, okay, Taurus, all right. And Pisces is like, let's get married. Pisces, Pisces is like, okay, I like this. The solution, let's pray about it. I, I feel like Pisces is in a whole nother relationship than you. They're just reminiscing from the past. They just, they're just they not even seeing what's going on, and they're not in it. They don't understand. Overall, three of swords going on in the love life. So I'm going to say, take your time. Choose wisely. Don't get caught up in the hype, my love. You are amazing. You are great. You are gorgeous. You deserve the best. All right? And remember, this is Tarot. Don't give your power away. All right, for a personal read, hit me up on my link tree. Let's be besties. Take care, and come over to Instagram so we can be friends.